Hello, this is Barry Wolf with the Wolf Retail Group of Marcus and Milichef. I'm here with Dan Ciosi and Todd Oliveri of Risk Strategies, one of the experts in South Florida in the industry and in the insurance industry. Thought it was an opportune time to get together with these guys with the hurricanes. Obviously, we've had in Texas and Florida. Just chat for a moment about the market, what we're seeing with the insurance industry. Um, guys, what, do you, what are we seeing? And obviously, we had some significant storms this year in Texas and in Florida in particular. Uh, from a casualty standpoint, an insurance rate standpoint, what's been the impact so far? Well, the impact so far hasn't been hit. So if we're renewing within the next couple of months, there's really, uh, we've seen flat to 5% because all the tallies are coming in now to find out what the real exposure is. Not only do we have the three hurricanes you mentioned, we have the uh, earthquakes uh, in Mexico, the fires in California. And uh, just on 60 Minutes uh, on Sunday night, they said, um, the Hurricane Maria might be up to 95 billion in exposed losses. So as these keep formulating, we're looking at at least a 10% increase next year. Uh, it could go north up to 30%, depending on the construction. So there's still, um, there's three different times where the reinsurance carriers get together next year. It's gonna be the first of the year in January, it's gonna be April 1st and June 1st. And that really dictates how high these rates can go. So we're not really sure, but we know it's between 10 and 30% okay. preliminarily. You had mentioned folks that are coming up for renewal in 2017 so far really muted impact. So if you've got a renewal here in the next couple months, that's actually a great time to be It's a renewing. great time because all of the carriers right now have aggregated amounts of insurance that they allocated for the year. So the rates are still the same until that all allocation is used up. So for the next two months, there's some really good deals that could happen. So. Okay. Uh, it's important to, to look at your insurance and if it comes up in the next couple of months, it might be a great opportune time to lock in for maybe 18 months. And Dan, if you own an apartment building, a shopping center, an office building, as you're looking out the next 30, 60, 90 days as an owner, yeah. is there anything they can be doing proactively to try to help minimize the hit to their NOI? from insurance rates popping up on them? Great question. I, as far as minimizing it, unfortunately, it's out of their hands. It's going to be dictated by the reinsurance markets and okay. those dates that Todd just mentioned on the first of the year, April 1st mm -hmm. and June 1st. Those are the reinsurance mm -hmm. treaty dates that are in the summer. Okay. And once those are signed, that'll dictate down from the reinsurance down to the carriers is what price okay. point they want to see increases. Mm -hmm. When you dive into the product types that we're looking at, so if it's the multifamily, hospitality, the apartments, retail, mm -hmm. from a standpoint of proactive measures, we have our clients that dictate their budgets going into 2018 right. with a 10 to 30% increase. Okay. And then why there's that range there is there's the uncertainty, but there's also the product type factor. So if you're in a habitational class B or class C product type, mm -hmm. um, and you let's say you're 100 units or less, right. you're probably gonna be closer to that 20 to 30% increase than you are that 10%. Gotcha. If you're in a class A office building, you're gonna be that five to 10% increase. Okay. If your construction built in Tri-County area mm -hmm. is uh, newer than 2004, you're going to be closer to that 10%. What about from a, obviously roofs are a big portion of the cost. Right. And they, let's say if you have re-roofed your building in recent years, I guess so, that. Yeah, so the magic number is 10 year old roof. That's okay. what you're going to be looking at. So as we went into 2015, 2016, where you're looking at 10 year old roofs from that were placed during Hurricane Wilma in, in 2005, 2006, mm -hmm. you're going to start seeing that happen. Um, as it burns off into 2017, 2018, 2019. So the, the modeling that dictates the pricing from the reinsurance mm -hmm. is going to look at that magic number of 10 year old roofs. Gotcha. And so that, that's going to be a real trigger for apartment building owners to look at that as a proactive measure. Gotcha. What about if I'm, again, I'm an investor, I own a building or multiple buildings, my insurance is coming up for renewal, I've normally, maybe I've just gone out to the market myself or I've, I've used the same company for umpteen years. What do you guys do that's different than just going back to the same old, same old, using my old rate company, paying what they tell you, know, they, the, the rate they give me each year? What do you guys do differently than that? And how do you help your clients reduce their rates and ultimately improve their NOIs? Great question. Well, Todd and I have formed a, a team of over 12 people that work behind us. And on this team, we insure over $6 billion in commercial real estate across the country. So we're heavy in Texas, throughout the Midwest and the Northeast, a lot in the Mid-Atlantic as well when it comes to retail. But what we do differently, we do a little bit of a forensic underwriting standpoint because we're different than the rest of the country. We understand exactly how the models go and what affects pricing and what characteristics of a building could really help out and lower the rate and which ones don't really have an impact. So being in South Florida, we're at a, 
you know, advantage because we've been underwritten so stringently throughout the years. We know how to properly place it. And our team that we have with us, um, we saw ourselves a little bit forensic underwriting because we dive, we ask questions that clients might not be used to asking. It's not a simple paper pushing along and these are the numbers we get. We give a very detailed report to our clients of the markets we went to mm -hmm. and the numbers we've been able to achieve for them in the past speak for them. So we've got some great relationships as well. Okay. So to couple on that, the relationships are really what's important in insurance. So when we deal with these underwriters and brokers and we go to them with a deal, we mm -hmm. kind of know where the needle needs to move. Right. So we kind of delegate our own rate to say, hey, this is a great asset. This is the reason why we think this will fit your modeling. Right. So they will give us even a, a more advantageous yeah. rate than, than Okay, no, I appreciate you guys' time. Obviously, the industry, insurance industry, there's a lot of intricacies to it, a lot of moving parts. It's very deal dependent, location dependent. So, if you have any interest in talking further with these guys, you want to give your contact info? Sure, uh, sure. I'll give you an easy number to remember 954 insured. A little cheesy, but you, know, you can always reach us that way. Yeah. Dan can give his direct line. Uh, you can reach me at that number, and then 954 416 9616. Rings directly to my phone. If I'm on their line, it'll Go to a live person, one of our staff, they'll answer it for you. So again, Barry Wolf with the Wolf Retail Group of Marcus and Melchuk. Have a fantastic week.